hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you this wearable vampy makeup look right here which i wore last weekend so if you would like to see how i got this makeup look then please keep watching and i have already moisturized my skin so jumping straight onto the primer i am taking this benefit professional primer to prime my face so i'm applying this to the areas where i tend to get oily and i am using my fingers to blend it before going with this pixie setting spray and i am giving my face a good spritz of that and this just makes your foundation last much longer than usual so for the foundation first with the anastasia beverly hills stick foundation i am drawing random lines on my face and then i took two pumps of this maybelline superstay foundation on back of my hand and then i blend both of the foundations together all over my face and i have been using this foundation combo a lot recently because i just love how this combo sits on my skin and also feels very light at the same time so i'm bouncing my beauty blender all over my face until i'm happy with the way it's looking then for the concealer i am taking this it cosmetics concealer just a very small amount and i am warming up the product on back of my hand and i am concealing my under eye bags and also i am applying this on to my eyelids as well and it gives that full coverage without leaving cakey or anything like that as you can see the difference is just amazing so i am applying this under my eyes my eyelids and the remaining product onto the areas where i felt like it needed some coverage moving on to the eyes i am taking this anastasia beverly hills cream eyeliner in jet i am just applying this on top of my eyelids not going too far into the crease and it doesn't have to be neat at all because we are going to apply another color on top and i am doing the same thing to the other eye as well then i am taking this anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow in the shade sangria and i am applying this to my crease as a nice transition color to define the shape of my eyes since you will be applying your eyeshadows in layers you don't need to pick up so much eyeshadow on your brush so as this eyeshadow is a highly pigmented color you will need to sweep just the tips of your brush across the pan to pick up the color and then apply it to the crease and i am also applying this color along my lower lash lines as well and also continue adding color and blend until you get the look you want then i'm taking these two shades called semsa and yugo from anastasia beverly hills ombrezi palette and i'm just packing that color on top of my eyelids gently and again not going too far into the crease and i'm also applying the same color along my lower lash lines to make it nice and smoky then taking this shade called 1988 and i am applying this into my crease just to make sure my eyeshadows are blended into each other and there are no harsh lines or anything like that and i am also diffusing that color into my lower lash lines and making sure my both eyes are looking as similar as possible then taking anastasia beverly hills setting powder in banana i am just setting those concealed and highlighted areas so use an appropriate amount of setting powder and the goal is to apply enough powder to give your skin a velvety finish but not so much that it's visible to the eye to fill in my brows i am taking this anastasia beverly hills deep brow pomade in ebony and i am filling in my brows so first brush them to see the shape and then start filling them in and it's just a great way to define them and this can help frame your face and polish off your whole look and then i am brushing away any excess product with the spoolie end then i am taking this l'oreal paris infallible eye pencil in the shade aubergine and i am tightlining my upper and lower water lines
then i'm grabbing the shade called wasted from the same ambrazi palette i'm applying this to my brow bone and into the inner corners as a nice subtle highlight then with tarte lights camera lashes mascara i'm applying tons and tons of mascara onto my upper and lower lashes to add that extra volume to my lashes to make them look fuller so place the wand against the base of your lashes and wiggle it back and forth a little and you want the most of the product to be applied to the roots which will make your lashes look longer and keep them from getting weighed down on the tips then taking two faced bronzer and highlighter duo palette in the shade pineapple sun i am taking the bronzer shade and i am contouring the usual parts of my face where i would generally contour that is the hollows of my cheeks my jawline my hairline and i am contouring the nose and lips as well to make my face look slimmer And I am blending with my damp beauty blender to make sure everything is blended seamlessly and there are no harsh lines. For the blush, I am taking this Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Berry Bay and I am applying a touch of color onto apples of my cheeks. And then with Pixi makeup setting spray, I am setting my whole face to make my makeup last longer and I am going over with my beauty blender to blend any excess powderiness and also to keep everything in place. Then I am taking this highlighter shade from Too Faced Pineapple Sun palette. I am applying these two high points of my face and this will give your skin a beautiful color boost and enhance your bone structure as well. So I am applying this on tops of my cheeks, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, my chin and above my eyebrows and also onto my brow bone area and inner corners of my eyes as well to attract light creating the illusion of brightness and height. And here I am wiping off my lip balm with a washcloth before going with the lipstick. So for the lips, I am taking this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chocolate and I am applying this all over my lips with my finger. Then I am taking this Yugo shade and I am just pressing that on top of my lips and this just makes my lipstick last longer and also transfer proof. And this you guys is the finished and final makeup look and I totally totally fell in love with the way it turned out. So thank you so so much everyone for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching my video. Please please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and the button is just down there and press the bell icon to be notified every time i post a new one and also like this video if you do and i'll see you guys very soon in my next one bye